details of two new tanks that will be available as part of Frostweist season is now available. The first one, tier 10 Polish Heavy Chog PWZ 46, available with basic season pass. And the second one is Era 3 Heavy Tank Stritzwagen 122A, and is available with ultimate season pass as well as the skin for it. And for Chog, you can earn the skin at level 120. We'll be comparing the new Polish Heavy with the existing Tech 3 Polish Heavy 60TP Lewandowskiego, as this is the closest tank that resembles the new tank, as well as both of them are Polish. So, looking, glancing quickly over the stats, it is safe to say everything about the newer tank is better than the Tech 3 version, except the gun depression. So, I'm not sure how it will play into when you're actually playing it, but I think that the extra gun depression is huge. So I did manually made this uh, uh, the chart for 60 TP. Hopefully, didn't make any mistake. But uh, going over the the stats here, similar hit points of 2600. The newer tank is faster with 1200 H horsepower as opposed to 780, which results in better power to weight as well. Speed limit also faster by five kilometers and reverse by two. Hull tra transverse or traverse also faster by two degrees. And gun depression is where the difference is, and as well as the elevation, the 60 TP brags at 8 degrees of gun depression as opposed to 6 degrees in the new tank, as well as the gun up elevation is better by 2 degrees for 60 TP. Penetration as well as alpha is the same for both the tanks, also the aim time. Accuracy slightly better for CHOG, as well as the reload which essentially results in better rate of fire as well as damage per minute. Slightly, not by much though. Uh, four more ammo rounds, probably to compensate for less gun depression. But the one thing to do notice is even though they have the same alpha and penetration, the AP shell velocity of standard round is 1050 for shog as opposed to 900 for 60 TP. Same heat shell velocity, but it is 30 meter per seconds faster for chalk and then same view range as well as signal range so most of the stats as i said better for chalk but the gun depression is better for 60 tp so whoever kind of hates the 60 tp of being too slow but want to play a tank that is a uh, slightly faster but still has alpha then chalk might be the tank for them however in our current meta it is very difficult to play any tank that has less than eight degrees of gun depression as most tanks have 10 that are hulled on monsters and in 60 tp because of the layout of the tank you can make eight degrees work but it would be interesting to see how six degrees would come into play the only tank i can make six degrees work is the is seven and even not that effectively seven is the minimum i would go but for tanks with this high alpha it it is my preferred gun depression but until we play this tank and how it performs we don't know but for for now i think uh the extra gun depression might be able to compensate for everything else that's better in chog and both of these tanks might come up being uh, very similar as it, in reality the accuracy and dpm difference aren't there aren't really there the only difference is speed so chog is faster better power two way and 60 tp is just slower but it has a better holding power due to its gun depression now looking at the armor for what's currently available on its sites. On the left, we have Chog and right 60 TP. They look more or less the same. The only difference is Chog's lower plate is bigger and will be easier to hit, as well as it has a bigger cupola compared to 60 TP, but 60 TP has the driver hatch that was easily penable because the, the hull was kind of trolly, especially if you don't have the greatest pen. But, uh, there's no driver hatch we see on Chog, but there is the turret ring that's bigger and can be easily penned. Not sure about the side armor, but I would expect it to be similar to the 60 TP. And uh, as you can looking at the pictures, they both have the their respective dark red and red and then yellow armor towards the front. So more or less similar armor, but I would say uh, from what we can see in the image, I think 60 TP has reliable armor because of that extra gun, de uh, gun depression as well 60 doesn't have to expose this lower plate moving on to the next tank Stritzwagen 122a i'll be comparing it with leopard 2a5 
as both these tanks are very similar, as well as when I was comparing the stacks of Switzwagen to Leopard 2A5, Leopard 2A5 comes out to have better stats, but the stock Leopard 2A5 has very close stats compared to Switzwagen. Also, another thing to note here is from what I understood from the Twitch stream, as well as looking at the stats, it feels like Switzwagen is the first top tier premium tank that's available with Ultimate Season Pass. All the tanks that we usually get with Ultimate Season Pass or part of Season Pass, they're either mid tier mostly or bottom tier. So far, we only have one top tier premium, which is Object 477A. And this could be the second one. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is a top tier tank and not a mid tier. Just because of its HP of 4100, as well as the stats resemble very closely to Stock Leopard 2A5. And it is slightly worse than Leopard, but not by that much that you would notice while playing. So let's go over the stats. Of course, 60% silver boost bonus, that's huge. 15% commander bonus and 10% tank XP bonus. Both tanks have identical hit points of 4100. Leopard 2A5 with a better engine power of 1630 horsepower as opposed to 1500 of Stritzwagen, which results in better power to weight ratio of 27.74 for Leopard 2A5 and 24 for Stritzwagen. Speed limit 72.4 for Leopard and 68.4 for Stritzwagen. Reverse speed is however better for Stritzwagen at 32.2 as opposed to Leopard's 31.1. Hull traverse speed better for Leopard by 4 degrees, turret traverse speed similar, same gun depression for both tanks for 9 degree of gun depression as well as identical elevation for 20 degrees. And now there is a difference with penetration as I mentioned earlier. Stritzwagen has better standard penetration which is very helpful if you only want to fire standard as you can make more silver. That's the whole point of playing with premium tanks and it has 643 standard pen as opposed to 590. Our premium pen is slightly lower, 697 as opposed to 710 that has Leopard. But I don't think it's going to make much difference, maybe in a very, very specific situation. But uh, I don't think the 13 meters of pen is going to be huge, especially because when you get pen rolls, and if you do need like 700 uh, pen, you probably might get a high roll. So I think the 10 extra pen might not be that uh, impactful. So I'm happy with the penetration this tank got. Moving on to damage, identical for both tanks, 510 for uh, standard and premium as well as 640 for HE. Aim time, slightly better for Leopard. It has 2 seconds as opposed to 2.1. Accuracy again better for Leopard with 0.19 as opposed to 0.22. As, uh, as we noticed that it has slightly better accuracy just because of the, the, the top turret. When I was comparing stock, they were very similar. And that also applies to rate of fire with the Leopard having a rate of fire of 8.22 rounds per minute as opposed to Stritzwagen 7.79, which results in, of course, better reload time as well as better DPM by uh, 200 damage per minute. So Leopard has 41.92 and Stritzwagen with 39.73. Same ammo capacity. Standard shells for Stritzwagen go 10 kilometer or 10 meter per second faster as they have 1650 shell velocity as opposed to 1640. Premium APCR have same shell velocity of 1670. And HE for Stritzwagen goes only at 780 as opposed to Leopard 2A5 where HE shell velocity is 1140 meter per second. Same view range as well as signal range. So as I said, there's Slight differences between those, these two tanks. It's uh, very close to the stock Leopard, but not that much that you will feel at a disadvantage. And looking at the stats and HP, and that's the reason I think it's a, it's a top tier tank. And even more reason to buy this tank, uh, the Ultimate Season Pass, compared to the previous season because they had either mid tier Era 3 tanks or bottom tier or Era 2. But this would be, as I said, 99.99%. .99%, I think it's top tier for the first time as part of Ultimate Season Pass, which means. You spend 4,000 extra for USP, Ultimate Season Pass, and you can get a tank for, what are they worth, like 22,000, 23 or 25, as opposed to 17,000, that's a mid-tier. Plus, of course, you get the skin that costs an additional 2 or 3,000. So, it seems like a better deal to buy this tank. Of course, it doesn't have the alpha that we usually get in the previous uh, tanks. Like, uh, we got some tanks like Leopard 2A4, 292, which had 700 alpha, and you only had to use standard rounds. And then we got 
We saw you last season, which had a crazy DPM. This one is more closely resembled to the existing Tech 3 MBTs. And if you're lazy like me, don't want to grind long lines, this might be a, a cheap shortcut in terms of code. Now, looking at the armor model, essentially, Sitzwagen looks identical to Leopard 2A5. And if I remember correctly on stream, they mentioned. They bought this tank from Germany and hence they look similar and it's just a Leopard 2A5 variant. Unfortunately, with Cold War, you can't really see a lot of armor as it's behind your reactive or space or composite armor. But you could see the turret, a little red behind the, the frontal spaced armor or the frontal light blue plate. You see the red armor as well as some yellowish on the top, similar to the Leopard. Even the frontal hull similar to have same armor and also the sides. And as I said, it is just a Leopard 2A5 variant. Expect a very similar armor, at least that's my best guess. And that's all I can make from the picture that's currently available. Of course, everything will be available on Tuesday, as well as along with the more detailed stats when this tank is in the game. Unfortunately, these are all the stats we get on Friday, which is few days before the release and then then we get more stats either on um, monday and then definitely on tuesday so that's it for these two tanks now moving on to the next big thing as you all know that the cyber monday sale will be available for one day on monday and for the first time ever on what on soul we have the ability to buy premium tanks for silver. Yes, you heard it right, for silver. So for all those free to play players, I'm kind of free to play as well. So I know how important this is and I don't want anyone to miss out and also, uh, you know, grind silver because that's how you will be able to buy these tanks. So there are six tanks in total, including tier nine, tier 10, as well as escalation era. You, these tanks will also be available if you want to buy them for gold at 50%. But uh, we have that opportunity multiple times or we have that in the past. But the key here is you can buy these six tanks for silver. And silver you can earn it in game without any issues. So the, the video is I'm releasing it on 29th. You still have two or three days to grind as much silver as possible because we don't know what the price is. But uh, if the gold price is discounted... I still expect the silver cost to be higher than what they would usually cost because silver as you know you can grind them in game without spending any real money as well as even let's say for some reason you end up short on silver you could what you could do is you might have a lot of unused commanders especially 2d commanders that are just there and you don't plan to grind them if needed you could sell them and most of them sell for like 250,000 plus per commander and uh, another thing that you can do is sell your tech tree tanks again that is like more like a last resort if you don't have enough silver on monday that you don't use or that they are lower tiers or you don't play often because you can always buy them back at a later date and because uh, i don't want anyone to miss out on the silver bonus they have done it for the first time and might do it again next year but you don't know what tank will be available at that time probably different tanks and probably they might not even do it but uh, no one should miss out on the opportunity because, uh, as I said, it is for silver. PC do that on their game. Uh, they have been doing it for, for a few years and uh, the silver cost goes crazy because I think they have something similar to auction. But in our case, it's not really an auction. It looks more like a fixed price. So the silver should be more realistic number as opposed to, let's say, 100 million per tank. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, you have three days, it's a day off. If you have time, just uh, put your silver boosters on your tanks, on your premium tanks, solely play premium tanks. Uh, and hopefully, at least one of the tanks will be there that you already don't have. For me, I already have the all the tier 10s. So obviously, that's going to be written for me. But maybe I'll have a tier 9 that I don't have or some Cold War tanks for Escalation Era as I am missing a lot of those. So to prepare for that, I have decided to play the MBTB tank. Another thing while grinding silver, uh, even in Era 3, of course, the more damage you do, the more silver you make. So you should play the tank that you do more damage in. But also, if you're playing bottom tier, you just make more silver because you get bonus of shooting uh, higher tiers. 
So MBD-70, it is a bottom tier tank and actually one of my uh, more enjoyable bottom tier tanks. I don't do that well on Weasel. Weasel is also bottom tier, also Jaguar is bottom tier. So if you have any of those tanks, you could play those. And similarly for uh, Era 2, you could play mid tier. I don't think we have a lot of bottom tiers in Era 2 as well as Era 1. But again, it comes down to how much damage or the more damage you could do for that era because that's how your uh, silver is calculated. The more damage you do and the, you know, better to not be top tier for to get that additional bonus. And then, of course, use your times to silver booster because no better time than this one. And uh, we do know that silver is something that is currently going to be very useful on Monday. It will only last for one day. And if you miss out, it'll be gone. So maybe, you know, if you're not available to play or log into the game that day, maybe ask one of your friends to do you a favor and buy the tank for you. as you'll still know how much it will cost and you know how much silver you have in your account. And uh, if, it's up, if it's up to me when I was playing F2P or completely F2P, I'm still free to play a player kind of, but I get like rewards from here and there. Um, but in the beginning, right? When I... I know the emotions are for free-to-play players and that never wants to miss out of anything that's available for silver and this is a limited time event. Last for one day, make sure to buy every tank if possible. Even if you have to sell all your tech tree tanks, I would go as far as saying <laughs> sell every tech tree tank if you have, uh, uh, of course, if, you, if you're short on silver, right? Maybe keep one or two uh, and then you can buy them back. But I don't think it's gonna be that crazy to be honest, right? I don't think it's gonna be that crazy. So it'll be okay uh, but i'm doing my part and in, in process to grind silver i, I have 800 million i don't think i need more and i have like a lot of unused commanders as well but still you know i didn't want to take any risks it's uh the, i don't think i need 100 percent but again this one i didn't want to take risks so play decided to play a few mbt games and uh, guess how much i made after cold war economy changes by the way and the magic number for this game of course not every game is going to be like that but uh, for this game, I made, ended up making 800,000. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you uh, what you think about the new tanks. And I'll catch you in the next one.